Okay, so it's day one of Chelsea and uh, Chelsea and Conrad's wedding edit. Um, so it's freezing in New York City right now. I'm in Brooklyn, so that's why the hat and the Christmas sweater. So yeah, and you know it's late night editing, so I'm I'm probably going to be very monotone and very uh, quiet today. So yeah, so here we are at the beginning of the wedding. We have this one Chelsea and Conrad's wedding folder. It has the Final Cut um, project file all set to go right here. This is the main thing. And then my other folder are the media assets. So this media asset fi uh, file is what I, um, I would put to my other hard drive because I've got two hard drives. I'm editing off of this four terabyte Coruscant Star Wars, I know, um, RAID. So I'm running RAID, I can't remember if it was one or zero, but it's the one that allows for a quicker speed. So I think one, doesn't matter though. Um, and it's Thunderbolt transfer. So it's, it's, I can totally edit off of it. I love it. Um, I like it a lot. But regardless, yes, I'm editing off of that. And I'm using my laptop just as a vessel between the two. And, um, yeah, so this media assets is backed up somewhere else. I just keep that safe and then I edit off of this. So what I do is when I open Final Cut for the first time, so the only work I've done before this has been to make this Final Cut Pro project folder and then import all of the footage, so the audio and the video, um, and then make ProRes files of it. So um, you'll notice that... Um, the actual Final Cut Pro file for uh, this project is um, quite large. It is 123 gigabytes versus this 42 gigabyte media assets folder. So all of this will be in here um, optimized. And what that means is that it's converted to, it's a uh, codec is rewrapped in um, ProRes 422. So you might be thinking 42 gigs is not that much for a wedding. I shot this by myself, but it was a really lovely, quick, you know, beautiful wedding. Um, and yes, I did shoot it by myself. So that is probably the most interesting thing about it. And uh, yeah, so we're just gonna go through the whole thing. And uh, you'll notice I've got two ceremony audio. They're actually duplicates of themselves at different levels, so. So that's obviously nothing, and then I have a first look. Cool. And then I have a readings. And then all this other footage is in chronological order, you know, I just try to keep it simple. I don't really need to do the tagging or naming of anything because I know exactly what I shot. It's not too crazy. So my first project uh, file is uh, a raw footage sequence. I think, yeah, let's call it a sequence. Um, so what the way that I like to edit is that I um, just like to eliminate all other distractions. So just gonna get rid of all my other uh, programs open. And uh, I'm gonna start laying down um, my edit. So I just start with, um, the first clip, which is this one. These are secondary cameras during multi-cam sequences. And I just run through and keep my hands on the keyboard, use that JKL, and uh, start pulling some good in and out points. So I got there super early in the morning and I had some time to uh, knock about outside to try to find some non-human things to shoot. And uh, one of them would be this water droplet right in the middle of the frame. It's pretty cool. And this is like normal stabilizer. So I took a couple of the same shot. Apparently I was doing something differently. Yeah, okay, so there we go. So this is a focus to that water droplet. And that's quite beautiful actually. Yep, let's drop that in. Hopefully I do it one more time. There we go, come on, right here. Come on, come on, come on. Ooh, ooh. No, movement isn't very good at all. 
but maybe just enough. I stopped rotating like halfway through, which was weird. Oh, I didn't rotate. So it's not very smooth on the focus, but uh, the sharpness and length is good. I do like this first one better. Maybe I can pull a little bit. See, there's gotta be a reason why I kept doing it. So I tried different things and this focusing is great at the end. The sequence of shots I took, I just want a little more on the end. Ooh. Yeah, just enough. Right there, that's the end. So that's about a three second clip. I bet there's a little bit at the beginning. Yep. That's great. I almost kind of focus right here though, but that makes sense. Um, audio's not great, but uh, yeah, that's, you know, it's a good, shows the area a little bit, it shows the temperature and the weather so this is going to be the ceremony location I knew that it was still just pretty so there's like a push in pan down I think the second one is better the second one is always always better yep all right press E throw that down um, this was before I put a new ball head on my slider because before you know when you first get your slider you kind of don't pan or tilt the ball head as you move a slide just because it's more difficult but um, that's something that you definitely do more when you have the skill set it's not that crazy of a skill but still you know so this is just the same shot in a different way I kind of like it though it's like a very wide shot with a 24 millimeter I'm definitely shooting with a 6D on this shoot. Very subtle slides, I like it. Show the grandeur. It's almost like the shot would be fine if it was just a static, but you just add that little bit of movement, it's great. So slider, 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 a lot of slider shots. Let's see what I do, I go back in. See the push in isn't, isn't good. So the first one's fine. I believe this is slider as well. You can definitely tell it's a 60 because of the more. It's terrible. All right, so I have another one. What is this? So this is definitely before I put the newer ball head on. one is better it's usually the last one uh -uh. nope nope no nope. give me one more from the right no nope. another one from the left what are you doing Craig don't like it I like this put the stabilizer on this oh so I got three shots of this I definitely had some time to get these, again with the water. Do I have a better one? That's interesting. It's a pretty flower. I definitely like this first one though. That's awesome. I should have shot that in slow motion or something. Those birds. I just need one. And more water. Close up. You can see something on. Okay, what do we got going on here? Pan up. Ooh, hundred macro. This is a Canon 2.8 hundred millimeter macro here. I just like the stills, you know. Right here, boom. That's all I need. Done. That's pretty. Yeah, I like the pan up to it. That's a really pretty shot though. Okay. I think this is where I like drop water. Yeah, hold on. <laughs> Miss. And there we go. Cool. 
cool. I'm glad I did a couple. I don't know what this is. Again with my wind charms. I shot Chelsea's sister the year before this, and I used wind chimes to introduce the setting before. That's beautiful. Okay, so human beings. Okay, there are people in the way. This one will be fine. I don't like that noise though. Hold on. Yeah, I, I hold it for a while. That one's okay. I just wish. I will wait for it. I just want her to start doing the makeup. I gotta hold. Hold, hold, hold. Right now. Yes. That works. Yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. What is this? I think I'm panning and sliding the same direction. That's insane. That's a really weird feeling, but I kind of like it. Because everything is moving the same direction. I kind of really like that. <laughs> Got her wonderful sister. So I shot her wedding. I don't know who that was talking. I hate going up in front of large crowds and talking, so. I have flashcards, but I do have most of it memorized. Yeah. I have corny jokes that, of course, I'm second guessing if I should say, but it'll be fun. Yeah. So. I'm looking forward to the flashcards. Yeah. <laughs> it does work a lot of times. A lot of people have, like, a sheet and, it, like, they have to, like, turn it. Right. But then, like, flashcards are so easy. It's just, like, boom, boom, boom. Right, exactly. Yeah. I know. I thought about having a sheet, but... Some people have phones, and it's like, they're just on their phone the whole time. Yeah. And it's like, no. Yeah, I don't want to have to look down and read it. I want to just be able to mm -hmm. look at them and everything. So. Yeah. Are you going to practice it a little bit now? Or? Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. I want to get like one or two lines. And then there's like eight of them. It's <laughs> about five minutes long. Yeah, it is five minutes. I was like, crap, there's eight of these. Okay. So I was going to say, um, Hello, uh, for those of you who don't know me, I'm Heidi, sister of the bride. Thank you all for coming today. I know some of you have traveled from so far, but no matter the distance, I know it means so much to Chelsea and Connor and both of our families that you're with us today. Um, it's a perfect day, a bit cold. Uh, I guess Falls decided to make its appearance. Um, doesn't Chelsea make a gorgeous bride? And hopefully everyone will be like, yeah. <laughs> and I'll be like, I promise I'm not just saying that because we look like twins. Don't forget to breathe. I know, I'm already like, there it is. Um, I like that. That's a great sequence. Stepping on my feet, I'm like, you can't do that. <laughs> I am. But say whatever, you guys. We'll just go with it. <laughs> Okay, I'm not sure what that was. The sound isn't great, but I had plenty of time. I did not see the photographer at any point here. That's loud. Hopefully this one's good. Yeah. yeah. Let's give this one as well. Uh, I have options. I don't, you know. Let's take the options we have here. Boom. Good. You know. These guys, I was just straight working around these guys. It's really funny actually. 
This is the first time I'm touching my mouse, by the way. Interesting funnel fact. Some dress macro shots. Some wonderful chairs. Straight chair action. Jesus. Oh my god, that's so annoying. I'm turning the audio down just for a minute. It's still loud. I can't even focus on this beautiful dress. That looks good. Yeah, I got all the shots I need. So hopefully we get out of, oh, one more shot. Tri uh, chair City. Up to Miss Saxby, Mrs. Saxby, and the flower thing. Cool. I like this thing, it's so shiny. I kind of like that better. So you'll notice that. It just takes one second for people to notice you. And then now you can start filming because they're, they're fine, they're cool. Hopefully they won't look back at the camera, you know. It's like a nerves thing. That's fine right there though. That's plenty. This looks great. I like this shot right here. Uh, it's always good with the framing, you know, in the context of the person. <laughs> I honestly do like when it's more about her, you know, less about the makeup artist. That's good. Three seconds. See, I totally shot in... Um, 2.35 to 1 aspect ratio. This is grandma. No, I think she's a cousin or niece or something. Friend's daughter, maybe. I like this. A slow, gradual 100 millimeter. That's definitely 100 prime. Great. Like it when there's a smile afterwards. So, going down. Uh, first one's good, you know. As long as all I need is one. Always fun, you know. Just random makeup shots. I'll get another one probably. Yeah, right here. Hopefully I get one. <laughs> um, maybe later. So here are the dudes. It's like a little shot of dudes hanging out. That dang air conditioner. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that, but I'm just going to leave it. So this is a slider, I believe. No, this is... This is monopod. Come on, focus, focus. Right here. Right there, right there, right there. Yep, there. Come on, nail the focus, it's on the wrong eye. There we go. Jeez. Drives me crazy. I like this because this is a natural transition from black. Right here. So I already laid that. Let's just zoom out. Yeah, we got just shy of four minutes so far. Okay, now we're just getting started. Just a little bit of hand makeup. 
That's a cool shot. It's kind of the same idea as the other one I had, but... Um, ooh, I like this movement here, the focus from this cheek up to the eyebrow, or the eyelashes, and the makeup hands going all around. Ooh, and she opens and smiles. No, hold it. I'm supposed to hold it longer than that. Of course, I have to get up and move. Completely ruin. Yeah. <laughs> no, if I just held it, it would have been much better. I still like that though. All right. I kind of like to see and mess with images as I go along, so I'm going to import um, it's aspect ratio PNG. so I can kind of test things as I go along. See what they look like with the correct aspect ratio. Like this shot, I want to see what this looks like. I like macro shots. Ah, I love that. That's really cool. Yeah, these look great. I really like this aspect ratio. What we got, what we got here? Yeah, it really pushes. See, I still focus on the wrong dot. Water droplet. Okay. And there. I just like to see everything. Okay, so we got that. Next is Monopoly. There was a Monopoly board there. Of course I'm gonna get that. I like that more handheld look. So this is it's where the ceremony will be. She's looking out. I may have to do a digital flip. Perfect sound bite. Love it. So I did a little interview with her. I'll do that last. So this is Conrad, the groom. So I did a total still motion sequence. Just kept the camera rolling, moved it around a lot with my monopod. I don't know if I have the right card. <laughs> Cloud. Should I open it up? Should I open it? Maybe we should go. Uh, go uh, no, we should go figure out this out, right? You and Chelsea have weird nicknames. <laughs> All right. You cut it during the laugh. <laughs> So I picture, I would usually cut more out of that, but I picture putting reaction shots if I get them. <laughs> Hopefully, yeah, that will work. I wish I got normal reaction shots of the guys. I think I do a little bit here. Oh, that's with their stuff though. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> I'm getting used to monopod noises. 
Good, you got a reaction. I like reactions. I need that sound bite. For sure. I wish I just focused on her. I gotta know to do the details later. Balance is weird. I'm still unsure of how I'm going to cut this up, so I'm leaving whatever's good, you know. Obviously, this is like focus issues, movement issues, sound issues. We'll take that. That's good. So I got closure on that little story. Sanding these out. It's like such white balance issues with this room. See, the guys are looking at the camera, so they're still getting used to me being there. That's what that means. So he's got the card. Good. These sound bites are awesome. That makes sense. I know. I know. Just gonna cut right there. I know. I started looking at it like. Some good monopod work here. Then I'll go back and then I'll go up. It's fine. It's probably like a 50 mil. Nice little adjustment there. <laughs> good job, Craig. We'll end right there. Got a nice wide, I guess. I'm still motioning it up. We'll just take that little snippet. Adjustments. See, like with this video here, you can just see how much I like. Yeah, cool. Just the in betweens and how much footage I actually capture that I don't use is insane. Don't judge me in my graph. Good sound bite again. And that clip, throw it. Okay, this is gonna be a great sequence going back and forth between the two of them. It's good. Someone plays music. I'm assuming for the cruise. Nice. Yeah, 
we can, yeah, through the door. I got lucky with this. All right, chill, computer, getting a little jumpy on me. I need speed when I'm working my JKLs. Just kidding, laugh. That's great, I love the sound, but like just everything is working. It's so good. The sound bites, the timing. This is like an example of a wedding where I just slow down and just think, you know, I don't try to do too much and I get the good stuff every time. It's been great so far. Hopefully they don't look at the lens again. Good, 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 good. All right, there, he spiked it, but that should be enough for a quick cut. I can't use that reaction because it wasn't that happiest looking. So we got little inserts of them opening these. This one's good. If I can get my exposure right, this would be a good shot. It's good. It's just enough for a reaction. Go back to this. Focus, focus, focus. I'm hitting the I and O button with my right hand if you can't tell. I like it. Get two reactions in one. I need one good one with the knife. Right there, boom. Now I haven't introduced him into the room yet and that's Dave, Dave Taylor. And uh, it's kinda, you know, I haven't really introduced what the gift was and he just like comes in with the knife. So I wish I had another shot of someone holding the knife, which I might hear. Yeah, good, good, good. So now we know everyone has a knife and not just Dave. Because that's not what I want to do as a filmmaker. <laughs> Give that impression. I tried. What do I got here? Just putting it away. Yeah, I've already got a good reaction. So this is an ultra wide of them playing cards. Second push is usually better for a reason, so I trust that judgment. I think I like the middle one. So this has to be like a hundred, no, probably fifty. I kind of like it starting up here instead of leaving him with this, like right there. Ooh, I like that. I might have another one. Yep. So now I go up to him. It's a bit more dynamic and interesting than the shot before. So it's like this. going down to the cards reactionary or like that. I kind of like that much better. And we'll let the aspect ratio be our final judge on this. There's more information, but I get to isolate what I want you to look at more with this shot. I just like that better because we see more of him like turning to his friends. So we're gonna double check the camera real quick. It's still rolling. Yes, it is. We have magic lantern, so it'll roll for a while. I trust that at least. If you're watching and you've been watching this whole time, let's take a drink together. Ah, you're dope. Let's continue. 
Okay, so we got that nice little introduction to the card scene. Looks like we got some, some more video clips. I kind of like that right there. So the throw, Pew. click, grab, grab, throw. Let's throw that, but there's more. That's good. We'll take that sound bite. We'll take that reaction. Looks like this is a real close up. I want motion. I add the motion if I'm not getting any. Hairy legs, I'm good. There's the camera. So she gave out her Girl, gifts to them. Good sound bite. Good, 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 good. I'll keep that as a sound bite and then push in. There I am. <laughs> wait, wait. wait for it. Go back, go back. Do you notice anything strange about this? Hey, let's go up to 3,000%. Uh, who's that? Bwah, bwah, bwah. It's just your friendly neighborhood creep in the, wind, in the mirror. This is how uh, like, those horror movies start. Like paranormal activity, they're like reviewing the footage after the night. They're like, "Who's crack in the mirror?" So watch out for that. Did I lay that clip down? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Um, nothing. Nothing moved around. Is this a sound bite? What is this? So she's happy, this looks good. -y. This lighting's not the great, but greatest. So we got window light coming in. You'll see that, you know, right here. We can see the kind of reflection from the window. And then the strong ass um, tungsten light behind. It's a weird mix. But because it's kind of directly behind her, it kind of works a little bit. And she's just so smiley, it's wonderful. This would be a great shot if she was doing the earrings on the other ear. Ooh. Come on, show me. Show me, show me, show me. Did I not get enough? I don't think I have another shot of those earrings. I know, which is perfect. I'll make it a quick cut. Unless I get some right here, that would be nice. It. We'll get these two. With the photographer in the background. Ooh, I like this reveal. It's a sweet little moment. Throw that down. I don't know what second angle I'd want here. 
I guess, right? Dad looks angry, but... I kind of like this end here. Let's cut right before she looks at the camera. Right here. I can, might be able to use that as a three-shot sequence. We'll skip his for now. Dress again. I already got good dress shots. I'm, I don't want it. Sis so sisters. I love this shot of her bouquet. Her bouquet is dope. Yeah, that's great. That is a that is some good natural diffused light right there. All of them see these girls know their wedding. They just know exactly how to set things up. Let's cut before I focus out though. Four seconds. A little flower girl reading a card. Sweet little moment. Some more wonderful detail shots by yours truly, Craig Atoms. Phew, a lot of focus was all over, but whatever. I feel like this, this is going to be a lot of back and forth, you know, showing. <laughs> it is kind of funny how he positions his. Suit. This is the coolest ceiling art I've ever seen. <laughs> the coolest ceiling art you've ever seen. Coolest art you've ever seen. Yeah, so that's definitely going in there. My voice. Wait for it. I cut at a specific, I hold until I get my shot, so. Boom. Focus, focus. Going up, going up, smile. There we go, looking back. Soundbite, yeah. That's why I cut, I got what I needed. This is good, we have plenty of time, you know, it's. It's just all good. You got the sis helping out. Ooh. This is so nice. <laughs> Hashtag plain face. That's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. She's just dealing with it in her own way. She has her beautiful bridesmaids. A wet and dress. I try my I try one more silhouette. It's good because she's laughing. I'm not sure I'll use that shot. I, 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 right there. Boom. I don't like the flash, the focus flash laser thing. Boom. Get what I need. All smiles. Do I rack focus anywhere? I don't, we'll leave the smiles in. I love seeing the ring and the dress together. Is 
Uh, flash. I think, I think I do it until I have no flash. Right there, boom. Good. Yeah! Right there. I don't know why the photographer has like the loud setting. You know, they can take photos without the coach. They'd be like, it's, it's like coach. It's like a simple setting. I, like they're not taking, they're not catching or catching the photo of the interception touchdown pass. So they don't need like 10 photos per second. Indeed. Rack focus to her bridesmaids after she looks down. Wait for it. What? No rack focus. I'll start it looking down now. Right before the hand goes up, probably three seconds. We have Mama helping out. Keep adjusting my exposure. I hold it. I hold it till I need it right there. So she puts her head down, which I'm like, mm -mm, didn't get enough. Keep it coming. Boom. I have not messed up a single shot. I swear, this is a good shoot. I did a lot of her. I feel like the shot's redundant. Focus. Right there. Boom. Fix that tie. He's having trouble. It's fine. It's funny. Keep it. Go back to it. There we go. Boom. So. And then I'll cut directly from that to this. Oh my god, hold the frame. <sighs> Just pull away when I need to keep it on. I wish, I think she looks directly at me. We'll see how it feels. Right there. That's gonna work. It's just not enough. It's just not enough, Captain. What about this second shoe? Put the dress on. Pop. I usually don't do that, but I asked her to drop it. It's always interesting. Go on, go on, focus. There we go. Pew. God, I'm rushing. I don't know what it is. It's right there. I might just be enough. Do I get the other shoe? No, I don't. I get off the shoes. I'm like, actually, could we take, could we take this off? Just your like, buttons and this. Looking good. 
Alright. And yeah, take stuff that way a little bit. Oh, if you want. I was going for a silhouette there, but couldn't make it happen for some reason. I like that. We'll just start right there. We know what he's doing, you know, we see the camera, we don't need to see the flash. That's good. I'll probably cut that in the middle. Cool. No, so now she's doing photography. I don't need people standing just like that. I'd much rather have a transition like this. Ooh, look at how misty it is. I do an exposure change. Leave it alone. It's uh, kind of cool. No, stop. <clears throat> I'm not going to get a shot right here. No, I should have just kept the. The lower exposure there. It would be way cool to just see like the details of like her silhouette pass by all the way through. Because like we have enough detail on this wood here. Yeah. So this is probably like three instances, three or four instances of me just cutting or moving way too early. I should have just held it, you know. This is sweet. And photographer. <laughs> awesome shot. And then the photographer. She totally saw it too. She was like, Oh no! I ruined everything. Alright, so this is more atmosphere? Okay, so she's peeking. I didn't get enough though, she was engaging the camera. Too much, so that arm is in my way. <laughs> That's fine, I still like that shot. I can get him getting his stuff on. Close up, and monopod, pull back. Okay, so he's waiting. So the only thing I remember was that it was quite windy. So I'm not sure the audio is going to be that great. Something else seems different. It seems very contrasty. It sounds like thunder, but that is just wind. Come on, give me at least two seconds of this. Yes, just enough. Nailed it. Let's take that magical break where we extend and we check out the framing for each of these shots. 
just looks so good when you get that letterbox in on there all right like is looks great oh throw some dexter britain on that looks great eh it's very diffused light looks great good sequencing so this is a long sh clip of me getting the first look and I have a second camera somewhere but uh, that's the kind of clip we're gonna do a multi-cam thingy for so I believe this is the first instance of this okay so You'll notice the majestic Craig Adams. The majestic Craig Adams just getting ready to do his thing. Okay, let's just let's let's take a second to just let's see if the motion blur will allow this. I'm moving pretty fast, but let's just let's take a second. Go on. We'll go, we'll go, we'll go hundred. Analyze this hair. It's like pretty much shaven here. I think kind of like a mullet that just extends on the right side, like just long hair. It's interesting. It's a, it's an interesting style. My fanny pack, I was just rocking it, you know. You looking at things being in my own shot and then running back. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Why am I crouching so much? This is amazing. This is that shot. Okay, well. <laughs> this has to go on Instagram. This is ridiculous. I am uh, totally going to take an Instagram of this. Hold on. Some good stuff. Okay, so I'm just going to record this clip. Hold on. Bear, w bear with me, all right? I'm doing important stuff. Does the photographer run? <laughs> I want there to be a little more at the beginning. Hold on. <laughs> I, th I should add the photographer as well. It's amazing. Kind of look ridiculous, by the way. All right, well, I'd say this is a good time to uh, stop.